Hi, welcome. I'm Ali Burrell, and this is a Yoga Nidra inspired practice that continues with the theme of nurturing for this cancer season. It's intended to build on nurturing to remind you of how abundant you are. So since we are here to take good care of ourselves in this practice, I recommend taking a moment of pause to create your nidra nest. So you might bring out some pillows or cushions, maybe for under the head or under the knees, perhaps a blanket to make you feel cozy and safe, or an eye mask to turn the senses inward. Once your nidra nest is ready, go ahead and lay your body down. You can close the eyes or allow the eyelids to become heavy without fully closing, if that feels safe for you. Allow yourself to release into the cushions and the earth beneath you. With every inhale and exhale, see if the muscles of your body open and release a little more. As if every fiber of every muscle is being breathed, including the muscle of your heart. As we release and the heart opens, the practice of Yoga Nidra begins. The heart holds an elder wisdom that has been passed down through generations. Listen to this wisdom, which may reveal your Sankalpa. The Sankalpa is a positive I am statement, like I am safe, I am nurtured or I am valid. Start to repeat your Sankalpa internally with a gentle confidence that allows your body to reverberate in its truth. As you release your Sankalpa, allow conscious awareness to slowly implant in your body. Starting with your right thumb, this conscious awareness moves to your index finger middle finger, ring finger, and pinky finger. The palm of your hand, the back of your hand, up your wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, and shoulder. 
this conscious awareness moves down through the armpit, and the right side ribs, down the waistline, thigh, knee, shin, and ankle. The top of the right foot and the sole of the right foot, along with all five toes. The entire right side of your body in your conscious awareness. Feel your right side body. Whole right side. Conscious awareness moves to your left thumb. It drifts to your index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and pinky finger. The palm of your hand and the back of your hand, your wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, and shoulder. Conscious awareness moves down through the armpit, the left side of your rib cage. The waistline, thigh, kneecap, shin, and ankle. Conscious awareness moves into the left foot and the sole of the left foot, including all five toes your entire left side body is held in your awareness. Whole left side. Your conscious awareness moves into your back body. Feel it in the sole of your right foot, the sole of your left foot, the soles of both feet together, the right calf and the left calf, both calves together. the back of your right knee, and the back of your left knee, both knees together. The right hamstring and the left hamstring, both hamstrings together. The right buttocks and the left buttocks, both sides of your buttocks together. Conscious awareness travels up your pelvis, low back middle back and upper back. Your right shoulder blade and your left shoulder blade. Both shoulder blades together. The right arm, the left arm. 
both arms together. Conscious awareness moves up the back of your neck, and the back of your head, to the crown of your head. Feel your entire back body held in your conscious awareness. The awareness moves from the crown of your forehead to your right eyebrow, left eyebrow, both eyebrows together. From your brow center, it moves to your right eyelid, left eyelid, both eyelids together. Your right eyeball, your left eyeball, both eyeballs together. Your right nostril, and your left nostril, both nostrils together. Conscious awareness moves from your upper lip, lower lip, both lips together. Feel your chin. Feel the right side of your jaw and the left side of your jaw. Both sides of your jaw together. Feel your whole face held in your conscious awareness. This awareness moves down the right side of your head and the left side of your head, both sides of your head together. Feel them move to the right side of your throat the left side of your throat, your whole neck and throat together, your right collarbone and your left collarbone, both collarbones together. Now the right side of your chest and the left side of your chest, both sides of your chest together. Feel the area of your abdomen from your ribs to your pelvis and the root of your pelvic floor, both thighs, both kneecaps, both shins, both ankles, and the tops of both of your feet. Feel your right leg from your toes to your hip. 
Feel your left leg from your toes to your hip. Feel the entirety of both legs together. Feel your right arm from your fingertips to your shoulder. And your left arm from your fingertips to your shoulder. Both arms together in your conscious awareness. Your arms and legs, entire torso and head. Feel and sense your entire body your whole body together right now. With conscious awareness encapsulating your entire body, you become transported. You find yourself seated in a cushioned chair at a wooden kitchen table. A fragrant aroma of home cooking fills the air. An elderly woman comes to the table and asks you if you're hungry. She asks you to remember a time when you were hungry. What did that feel like in your body? What did hunger feel like? The elderly woman returns to the wooden kitchen table. She offers you a plate of homemade food. This is a gift that she's made for you so you may feel nourished. Imagine this homemade cuisine filling your belly so you feel nourished. Take a moment to embrace this feeling in your body. The elderly woman brings your attention back to the wooden kitchen table. This time she places a handmade ceramic mug in your hands. She asks you to imagine a time when you had a great thirst. What did it feel like to thirst?
Your awareness drifts back to the wooden kitchen table. The elderly woman pours fresh, clean water into the homemade ceramic mug and tells you to quench your thirst. How does your body feel without thirst? Your attention comes back to the wooden kitchen table. An elderly man comes to join you and the woman at the table. As he lays a handmade blanket on the table, he asks you to imagine a time when you did not feel safe and warm. What did it feel like in your body to not feel safe and warm? Your attention comes back to the elderly man at the wooden kitchen table. He helps wrap the homemade blanket around you, offering this as a gift to keep you safe, protected, and warm. Allow this feeling of safety and warmth to settle into your body. With this feeling of safety and warmth, your attention returns back to the wooden kitchen table and the elderly couple that sits with you. They present you with a journal, a gift from both of them. You open the journal and written inside is your Sankalpa. You read your Sankalpa as the sight of your elders fades. And as you repeat your Sankalpa internally, you have an abundant confidence in its truth. With this, the practice of yoga nidra comes to a close. All the gifts 
from those that came before you have led you to this place of abundance and the gifts of your Sankalpa that are meant for you. Start to fill your lungs with a little more oxygen, opening and expanding the rib cage in all directions with each breath. These breaths bring energy back into the body. Bring movement back into the body with a gentle bend and release of the fingers and toes. Perhaps you start to oscillate the head from side to side. And as you're ready, roll off onto your left or right side. Take a moment to cradle yourself. Allow an integration of your nurtured, abundant self to stay with you before you come back to your day. And when you're ready, go ahead and press yourself back up to seated and have your hands come into contact with your body or the surface supporting you. And once you feel grounded, gently blink the eyes back open and welcome yourself back into your space. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. May you always remember how abundant you are.